I grew up playing a ton of games on the PC, the Super Nintendo, the N64, the PlayStation, GameCube, and the original Xbox. I was a spoiled little bitch. Now, when I sat down to make this list, I wrote down over 50 games that I considered to be my favorites. So, yeah, I had to cut out a lot to make this top 10. And I pretty much just decided that I had to focus on the games that I think I put the most amount of time into because of how much fun they were. So, that said, these are my top 10 childhood games. Number 10, Spyro the Dragon. Who here remembers playing as this little purple bastard, running around with your little dragonfly companion, saving crystal dragons, and collecting a shit ton of gems? I remember. Spyro the Dragon just had a charm to it that I cannot describe. You just have to play the game to understand. The music was... it was just so catchy and the levels were so well designed, and the game was actually pretty tough. And the best part is that there always seemed to be all these secrets hidden behind every corner. I loved it. But what makes this bullet even better is that when I went to Sweden a couple of years back, I actually got to replay this game again after years and years of never touching it. And truth be told, I had almost forgotten this game. But hot damn, when I saw it, and I busted that sucker into the PS1, and I played it, it held up. And it was a ton of fun to replay through that game while I was overseas. When I was making this list and writing down all my games, Spyro the Dragon I knew would soar into this list. Number 9, Twisted Metal 2. Again, I'm going to hit you with more PlayStation 1. I remember being a little brat, sitting in my shit-stained underwear, playing this game and laughing maniacally as I gunned down my enemies in twisted metal, blew up their cars, and worked towards that ultimate goal of getting my wish from Calypso. This was a game all about violence, guns, and destruction, and I loved every second of it. Looking back, I think my favorite thing about this game was just how replayable it was, as the game's ending was different depending on what character you beat it as. Oh, and, uh, fucking Darktooth. That evil laughter is just burned into my mind, man. If you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Number 8, Roller Coaster Tycoon. You gotta have a theme park game on the list, man. It's that one genre of game that we always forget about because we're so focused on the the strategy games and the shooting games and the MMOs and all that stuff. But hot damn, these games were so much fun. And in my opinion, Roller Coaster Tycoon, the first one, was just the best. Building my own death coasters, drowning my park guests. Dude was amazing. The best part was also naming visitors after my friends, if I had friends, and watching what they would do throughout the park, and then killing them. I guess Twisted Metal 2 sort of rubbed off on me a bit, you could say. But as a final note, uh, only people who played this game will understand, but your park did not truly come to life until you built a merry-go-round, which filled the entire park with this awesome music. Number 7, Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis. Who here played this game? Come on, am I the only one? I'm probably the only one, but dude, it's another theme park game, but this one has a twist to it. It's Jurassic Park. Now let me say that a lot of Jurassic Park games that I played growing up as a kid sucked, but this one was good. This one was great even. You make your own island, you build your own park, you research dino DNA, you breed dinosaurs, and then you just sit back and watch the magic. I always loved watching how the velociraptors would hunt in packs, seeing a T-Rex break out of his enclosure that I might have intentionally made so that he could break out of, or seeing the bigger dinosaurs fight and kill one another. It was great. I admit, 
there was a big debate in my mind about which should be first, Roller Coaster Tycoon or this game. But I know for a fact that I put way more hours into Operation Genesis, so I'm giving it number seven. Number six, Star Wars Battlefront. Now we are talking. Who remembers playing as the Republic on the Bespin platform map and holding the line against waves and waves of CIS battle droids? Well, I do. Who remembers the first time you got dropped onto Geonosis and you besieged the spire in the center of the map all by yourself? I do. Star Wars Battlefront was awesome because it was the first game I ever played where I felt like a real soldier on the ground in the middle of a giant war. The concept of it was so simple. Shit ton of friendlies and a shit ton of enemies. Both spawn on either side of the map and they go at it. It was genius and I loved it. It was great. I admit though that I did not enjoy the later Battlefront games as much as the original, but it's mostly due to nostalgia, I think. The first one was just, it was just too good to surpass, but that's just my opinion. Number five, Pokemon Yellow and Gold. How can you not put a Pokemon game or two on your favorite childhood video game list? Pokemon was the shit. And if you had Pokemon Yellow like me, you were the cool kid in school. Man, fuck those pussy ass three choice leaf fire water bullshit Pokemon. This Pikachu motherfucker. Pokemon Yellow was epic, but I admit that Pokemon Gold is my favorite Pokemon game so far. I cannot even begin to fathom how many hours I put into both of these games combined because, I mean, they were the go-to games after school and sometimes during class. They were the go-to games on long car rides and in any situation where you were bored out of your mind. I loved it. I loved both games. And I can say that in both games, I was a Pokemon master. Mm-hmm. Number four, Super Smash Brothers Melee. This was a game that my friends and I always played when we slept over at each other's houses. It would be the four of us duking it out and having an awesome time beating the crap out of one another as our favorite characters. I remember mine was Link, my friend David's was Captain Falcon, his brother's favorite was <laughs> any character that we didn't completely destroy him on, and my friend Ben, his favorite was Mewtwo. This was the sort of game where before going to my friend's house to play it, I would train, in quotes, against max difficulty NPCs just so that I could do better and better against these guys in our little friendly tournaments. It was a ton of fun and Super Smash Bros. Melee will always be my favorite fighting game just because of all the memories I have with it. It's great, man. Number 3, Age of Empires 2 slash Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. We're in the top three, man. The reason why these two are together, though, is because they're the same game. I'm serious. Like, Galactic Battlegrounds was Age of Empires 2, just with a new skin and flying units. But everything was the same. Like, everything. The same engine, everything. Depending on my mood as a youngster, I would be playing one of these. If I wanted to play a sci-fi RTS, I would go with Galactic Battlegrounds. And if I wanted some old world action, I would go with Age of Empires 2. So many good memories with these games, like blockading an entire enemy island with my fleet of ships, or doing like a, like a D-Day style invasion of enemy territories, and just seeing battlefields littered with skeletons as I fought for control of the map. These games were so awesome, and I love the fact you can actually get an HD version of Age of Empires 2 right now on Steam. You better believe I pre-ordered that shit so fast, you have no idea. Number 2, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Do I even need to explain? Do I even need to explain? If you played this game, you loved it. I have never met someone who said with a straight face they did not love the first Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic game. Playing as a Jedi or a Sith 
going through a galaxy-spanning story looking for the star maps. Oh, it was so awesome, and it all led to that epic conclusion with Darth Malak on board the Star Forge. This game was actually so good, I, th I thought it was so great, that I beat it four times. And then, after loaning the disc to my friend, who broke it, I went out and bought the game again, and beat it two more times. Yeah, I loved this game, especially the Korriban part. Although, that fucking energy beam puzzle drove me insane when I was a kid, but I loved it. And number one. If there is one game that my friends and I played more than any other, if there's one game, or maybe series of games, that I went to so many LAN parties for, that game, or should I say, those two games, <laughs> they were Halo 1 and Halo 2. Now, I know some of you nerds are gonna crucify me for saying that, but hot damn, these games were so damn good to play with your friends. Now, the only reason why I don't include Halo 3 is because I never had an Xbox 360 growing up. I only had the original, but I did get to play it at a friend's house once. I remember spending hours finding ways to get out of the maps on Halo 1 and 2, finding all the exploits, all the bugs, all the Easter eggs, and a whole lot more. And this was before YouTube and all that stuff. So, it was dope. Also, these were the first games that I made Machinima on before World of Warcraft. That's pretty cool. At least I think so. In the end, I had a ton of games that I considered to be super epic while I was growing up with my childhood friends, but Halo and Halo 2 and all the memories and all the game time that I put into it and, oh man, it just takes the cake, man. It just takes the cake. Alright, and that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed a peek into some of the games that I played growing up. The question is, though, did you play any of these games, though? Did you, did you play Jurassic Park Operation Genesis? Did you play Spyro the Dragon? I don't know. Did you nostalgia? Did I, did I make you nostalgia any? Come on, I, I know one of you nostalgia I know it. But yes, leave a comment below and share your favorite games as well when you were younger because I bet, I can guarantee, that some of your favorites that you're gonna write down were probably on my original list when I was preparing to make this video. So, yeah. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. And How To Shaman is coming soon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see ya.